Welcome back to Ocarina. My heater's on, but I hope nobody minds too much. We were just talking to Zelda about, um, the man in the mirror. I'm asking him to make a change. We must not let Ganondorf get the Triforce. The Trifecta. Perfecta. You go find the other two spiritual stones. Let's get the Triforce before Ganondorf does, and then defeat him. It's that easy. Nothing. What can go wrong? Nothing will go wrong. I, uh, take this letter. Okay. Cool. Wow, this letter has Princess Zelda's autograph. Sweet. Alright. Thank Yes. I know how to do that. Alright. Later, Zelda. Oh my god, who's this muscular mommy? Please, muscle mommy. Crush my head between your thick thighs. Alright, and no, anyway. I'm Impa of the Sheikas. I'm responsible for protecting Princess Zelda. Everything is exactly as the princess foretold. You're a courageous boy. You're heading out on a big new adventure, aren't you? That's right. My role in the princess's dream was to teach a melody to the one from the forest. This is for an ancient melody passed down by the royal family. I've played this song for Princess Zelda as a lullaby ever since she was a baby. There's mysterious power in these notes. Now listen carefully. How are you doing that? Are you, oh, are you just whistling into your hand? I just noticed that she has red eyes. Hee <laughs> hee, finger go fast. Why is the audio so terrible? <laughs> Why does this game in particular make the emulator act up so much? I like how Link has the little, like, eyelashes almost, like, off the sides of his eyes. And then if you look closely at Impa, she's got some really cool eye makeup too. Oh, they're not gonna sh They're gonna... I'm not gonna be in that much trouble, I'm just gonna get kicked out of the castle. We're trying to leave the castle anyway. Muscle mommy, you brave lad. We must protect this beautiful girl, I mean land. Take a good look. Take a gander. Get it? It's like a goose. It looks like Mount Rainier. It really does. In Seattle, Washington. Or outside of Seattle. Kakariko. I hope everybody pronounces it Kakariko. I've always heard it Kakariko, but that's because I watched so many Let's Plays of this game before actually playing it. I wonder if I meet somebody who, like, calls it Kakariko or <laughs> Kakariko or something, which is also totally legit. Like, I can see... I can see how... Oh, and she does the, uh, flash bomb. Deku nut flash bomb. I call it Deku, but a lot of people call it Deku, and that makes sense. Deku, it sounds more British, which is kind of nice. I don't know. Also, the uh, famous ocarina trick for uh, going fast is the side hop, but you have to kind of aim it. So I was a bit off. Good, the music is still nice. The music isn't doing the thing yet. Where it goes into like all the all the dissonant trumpet notes. <laughs> it basically the music gets more and more scary or intense when enemies are nearby, so. Dynamic music, wow, what a what a technical feat of programming. Oh yeah, nothing will go wrong with uh, when I attack this chicken. Certainly, nothing will go wrong. Can I do it? Can I do it? I, I can do it. <laughs> Certainly nothing will go wrong. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wait, why is Link in... Why is Link... Oh, okay, never mind. Ow. That's cool, but I don't want to get a game over. I, I really don't want to get a game over. This is only part four. Let's, like, at least wait until part eight to get a game over. And let's pretend we never did that. You gotta show off all the secrets of the game. No, I'm definitely not showing off all the secrets. 
I don't even know if I'm going for 100%. I mean, although you kind of got to do it, like when you do a Zelda game, just do 100% out of respect. But like, that's a whole commitment. Like, I gotta commit to doing the Poe side quest. Yada, yada, yada. Hey, hey, look at me. Oh, this is, this is surely Princess Zelda's handwriting. Well, let's see. Hmm, okay. This is Dude. He's under my orders to save Hyrule. <laughs> what kind of funny game has our princess come up with now? Okay, okay, alright. You can go on now. Just be careful, Mr. Hero. Okay, yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir. By the way, Mr. Hero. Blah, 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 blah. You know, that's actually a good idea. But... Okay, we can do that. Uh, see you in... 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, let's see if 64 rupees is enough to, um, get anything. Oh, that's the thief. Huff, huff, I'm late for a very important day. Oh, that's plagiarism from Alice in Wonderland. But that's, that's not really plagiarism, because Alice in Wonderland is public domain. You do not sell... That's a funny old guy in a robe. I wonder if he's a wizard. Could he be a wizard? Possibly a wizard. A wizard? Maybe a wizard? Oh my god. You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? We deal in masks that bring happiness to everyone. How would you like to be a happiness salesman? I'll lend you a mask. If you want to read the fine print, take a look at the sign right over there. After you've sold all the masks, you'll become happy yourself. Have faith. Okay. Yes, I do. You borrowed a Keaton mask. Where would she... She... Okay. So that didn't cost any money. So I will start saying everything very slowly. No, please don't do that. Uh, the... Those are not shops. You said we could buy... Oh, okay, that's closed. Oh, okay. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. Uh... This is a... This is another thing. Oh, yeah. It's this dude. I love this dude. He's got such good chest hair. Okay, hold on. We need a few more rupees, but we should be able to get it. Dun, 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 dun. I love how they kind of go for the, uh, like, medieval or renaissance kind of thing. It's very cute. Like, look at these beautiful, like, half-timbered houses. They're very pretty. And, uh, I love this song. It's just a stupid little, like, you're inside somebody's house, like, ditty. But it's one of my favorite, like, songs just in the Zelda series. It makes me happy whenever I hear it. Dun 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 Anyway, I, I didn't sing that right at all, but... Let's go over here... Over here, and hold on, real quick. There we go. I just wanted to make sure my save state key was working. Because <laughs> I wanted- I'd like to be able to save my progress. It's not even that important, but, like, it makes things quicker. Where am I going? Oh, yeah, to, to chest hair guy. See, this is where I really should have made the joke about uh, the twink to bear spectrum. It's so stupid. You heard about us from the guard of Death Mountain Gate? Well, I have to give you a good deal, then. Oh, what? You mean I didn't have to... Aw. Okay, that's fine. Nice, we saved, uh, 30 rupees. Alright, let's, uh... Let's go back while fast-forwarding. Let's see, fast-forward... 
and getting running into things. Still using the fast forward key. Hey, there's the moon. Hey, Kakariko at night, you can get a bunch of uh, sculptulas and stuff. That's kind of cool. But we're not going to do that because uh, it's not important enough yet. Okay, come, come on. I, can, I swear I can do this. <laughs> Don't fall off the staircase. Don't fall off the thing. <laughs> oh, it sounds so funny. His fast little footsteps. Yo, wahaha! <laughs> what do you think this is? Jimmy and the pulsating mask? Wahaha! You think you're in disguise, Mr. Hero? Oh, that's the mask that your son wants, silly. My boy will be. My boy will be very happy with this. You really are Mr. Hero. Wahaha! You earned a little profit. Let's go to mask shop and pay back the mask price of 10 rupees. How about I do that next time I'm in the, uh, in, in the area. For now, let's go to, uh, Death Mountain Trail. So that's at least a little different that we're coming here at night. Oh boy, Tactai. I remember you guys from Zelda 1. You guys are fun in Zelda 1. And uh, you're fun in this game, I guess. You're, you're like the single worst part of the Water Temple, in my opinion. The Water Temple wouldn't be that bad if there weren't so many Tektites. And like the spiky clam dudes. Although the spiky clam dudes make me laugh. So, you know, but we're already talking about the Water Temple. The thing is, like, people know this game already. Oh my god, what are you doing, man? Okay, so, uh, here we go. Wow, look at this, Goron City. Such a cool place. It's not much of a city, it's really just kind of like a gathering place, like a town hall kind of place. All right, so what do I have to do here? I have to do something, that's for sure. Let's talk to everybody in town, see what we can learn. Treat it like it's an RPG and we have to talk to all the NPCs. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. Oh, I almost pushed the, uh, the wrong button. Uh, the menuing is kind of slow and clunky, but I like how it says sold out. Alright, let's save, because we can do that in this game. We can save whenever. Um, so with the Deku Shield, we block things right in front of us. With this, we kind of go into, um, like, turtle mode. Because, uh, like, supposedly the, the shield is too heavy for a kid. But later in the game, we'll be able to, uh... You know, when we're older, you know, we'll be able to uh, actually use it in front of us like a proper shield. Um, what's going on in Goron City? Hey, you. What do you have to say? Can, can you talk to me, please? I'm so hungry that I can't think about anything but food. Spiritual stone, that red stone that was lighting up our city? Big brother Darunia took it away. Then he shut himself up in his room and won't come out. Since then, it feels like all the lights in the city have gone out. Everyone seems so depressed. I want you to bring fire from Big Brother's room back here. I can do that. Uh, let's make sure we equip our ocarina. So... I like the uh, the C buttons when items, nothing's equipped to them. I call them like the naked C buttons. Once you actually put an item to one of them, like the items just swap around so you won't have a naked C button for a while. So I just think it's cool. Pretty sure we just opened this with Zelda Solovi, right? There's um... 
So there's another N64 game, um, Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine, which I never knew that there was an Indiana Jones game for N64. I was like, what the heck? And from what little I know about that game, it has a super similar HUD with, like, showing the C buttons and, like, you map the C buttons to, uh, various items. It's probably the kind of thing... I love how Link spins around in that cutscene. It, it makes absolutely no sense, but it's kind of stupid and hilarious. I love it. Um, but, yeah, I mean, like, even now, like, a lot of games use the same engine. You know, instead of having to build a new engine from scratch every time. Like, Ocarina of Time, uh, I believe, uses Star Fox 64's engine. How is Big Brother? I see. Well, I didn't actually talk to him. Do you know the music coming from deep inside this tunnel? We all like this music. Oh, that's great. What happens when I actually talk to Big Brother? So, like, that's the, uh, that's the secret. The secret to the thing. Hey, how you doing? Why is the camera angle... Why did, like, the cameraman is, like, lying on the ground and, like, looking up at his crotch? Like, what the heck? What the heck? Who are you? When I heard the song of the royal family, I expected their messenger had arrived, but you're just a little kid. Well, the princess not, is not very old herself. Has Darunia... The big boss of the Gorons really lost so much status to be treated like this by his sworn brother, the king? Now I'm really angry! Get out of my face now! Are you asking why I'm in such a bad mood right now? Ancient creatures have infested the Dodongo's cavern. We've had a poor harvest of our special crop, bomb flowers. Starvation and hunger because of the rock shortage. But... This is a Goron problem. We don't need any help from strangers. Uh... No. Can I not, uh, change your mind? What does Navi say? What would Saria say if we told her? I don't know. What would Saria say? I don't know what Saria would say. <laughs> okay, so we need the, uh, bomb, like, bomb bracelet or whatever to be able to go back to the Lost Woods. What do you, what do you do? I'm so hungry that I can't think about anything but food. I'm sorry you guys are starving. I'm gonna try to help you out. He's in a bad mood. He'll probably get mad at you. It can be pretty scary, but I know his secret. He may not look like the type, but Big Brother loves to dance. If he gets in a rhythm, he'll surely... He'll surely what? Oh, I skipped a bunch. When all the torches are on this floor are lit, Goron City is really lively. But don't I need a bomb flower to be able to get through. What happens if we just, uh, got this, so we got, like, this here, which is, like, a teleport. Mm. Yeah, see? Right. Grab with A. We can't, because we do not have the ability to. So, wait a second. If we use the fire... And we light the bombs with the fire. There we go. Okay, now I'm thinking with 100% of my brain. So, here's a shortcut from Goron City to the Lost... What are you doing here? Dude, good to see you again. Listen to this, hoot hoot. After going through the Lost Woods, you will come upon the Sacred Forest Meadow. That is a sacred place where few people have ever walked. Shh, what's that? I can hear a mysterious tune. You should listen for that tune too. Hoo hoo hoo. You wanna hear what I said again? If you are courageous, you will make it through the forest. Just follow your ears. Blah blah blah. Um, so yeah, that's the trick to making it through the Lost Woods. 
It's the other trick besides um, this one kind of the, fades into like a little gray dot and this one doesn't. But also the music, like the tune is louder. Also gray dot, no gray dot. Um, okay, yeah, we can also finally get that heart piece that we skipped before because we have an ocarina now. So, this way? No, don't do that. Hmm. Oh, yeah, now they all have gray dots, but this one, the music is actually coming through. Are we gonna have to fight a Wolfos? Yes. First Wolfos of the game. First, uh, sorta intimidating enemy. But the trick is just to uh, wait until they attack, and then attack right after. I like the stupid Hylian shield animation. Looks like I'm crouching in fear, or looks like I'm praying. One more time. There we go. Yeah, Wolfos ain't too bad. Uh, but I would re really like to switch to, um... Switch to Deku Shield now. Thank you. Sure, I'll save. Alright, what you got? What you got? Don't, don't shoot me. Don't shoot the piano player. Haha, <laughs> it's funny because I play piano in real life. Stop being such a jerk. What are you doing? You're not even gonna give me hints on how to get through the dungeon. Or you're not gonna sell me anything. I like to have the cursor on the mini map was going backwards because I was facing backwards. That was pretty good. And then here we get this square. Yeah, that's right. You don't even want to mess with me. That's right. Because I'm tough. I'm a tough guy. Idaho born and raised. No, I'm kidding. I'm not from Idaho. Idaho does seem like a cool place, though. I don't mind living there. Hey, green-haired girl. What you got? What you doing out here? I've been waiting for you, dude. This is a sacred forest meadow. It's my secret place. I feel this place will be very important for both of us someday. That's what I feel. If you play the ocarina here, you can talk with the spirits in the forest. Would you like to play with the ocarina with me? Yes. Don't do it! Okay, try to follow along with the melody. I will play. Are you ready? No. Do ta ta do ta ta And backwards, it's a song of healing, so... I guess they really ran out of ideas. Pfft. Wrong. Okay. Oh, look at those little green leaves. Great, great. Please, don't forget this song. Do you promise? When you want to hear my voice play Saria's song, you can talk to me anytime. Oh my god, why is this thing sparkling? so sparkly. Okay. Wow, Link, you have such beautiful blue eyes. You are very handsome. You have beautiful blue eyes. So now we have to go back the way we came. Stop shooting. Stop shooting me. Okay, now the, the infamous uh, Zelda beeping. I don't know why we're t I'm talking about that like it's a new thing, because clearly you guys have already watched my playthrough of... Uh, uh, Majora's Mask that I did back in college. Those, those were the days when I was playing Majora's Mask, and it's clearly the, a different game from this game. You, we just talked to each other. I just talked to you. Hoot 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 hoot! Uh, yes, please. I would love to hear what you said again. 
Melodies you have learned will be recorded on the quest. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, but I, I know that already. Thank you, dude. So I like how in the uh, the Winnie the Pooh books, like Owl is supposed to be the smartest, uh, except for like Christopher Robin. But like he thinks that like whenever he tries to spell his own name, he spells it W O L. I guess that's the joke in Winnie the Pooh is that none of the characters can actually spell, and then it's the whole thing is basically about them learning to spell. <laughs> Hey dude, it's a Skull Kid. Oh my god, I hope you don't go crazy and steal an ancient cursed mask in the next game. You know, sorry a song, we should be friends. Here, take this. Thanks, dude. See you later. I hope you don't go crazy from being in the, uh, being in the forest too long. Definitely not. I like this guy. I don't know what, what his deal is. He just, he, he can magically make numbers appear above his head. Also, I like how the entrance to Goron City is different. Like, it's helpful to, to remind one of uh, where they be going. You know where we be going, dude. And that's where we be going. Hello, spinny thing. Thing with all the different faces. The faces that represent my uh, mood of the day. Current mood. Uh, wistful. Yo. Alright, let's do this. Alright. Now for the famous Darunia dancing scene. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Woo! Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Gutterunia. It's a birthday. It's a birthday. It's a birthday. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-huh. 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 Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hot. What's a hot beat? Whoa. Yeah. Yahoo. That's like the second time somebody has said Yahoo in this game. Just like that, my depression is all gone. Something just came over me. I suddenly wanted to dance like crazy. I'm the big boss of the Gorons. Was there something you wanted to ask me about? Yeah. I mean, your people are starving. <laughs> I, it's good that your depression is gone, but still, we have, we have things to discuss. Hold on, I'm not going to give it to you that easily. If you want it so badly... Why don't you go destroy the monsters inside of the Dodongo's cavern and prove you're a real man? Oh, yeah. That way. You know. You know me. Idaho, born and raised. I have something for you. I'm not really giving you this in return for anything, but take it anyway. If you wear this, even a little celly, like you can pick up a bomb flower. Cool. Alright. Now let's do our, uh, let's power walk out of here. Oh, it's lagging. It's la It's not lagging. What happens if we... Wait, I actually want to know. What happens if we do this? Behind this wall is cake. It is cake. I swear it's cake. Oh, it's a shop. That's good too. That's fine. Back here in Nevada. Because the Gorons are from Nevada. They're such Nevadaites. We're Nevadaites, of course. Of course that stereotype describes us. I don't even know if there's any Nevada stereotypes besides... I mean, besides Las Vegas, but that's kind of different. Because Las Vegas is like that because of the tourists. In fact, sometimes I forget Las Vegas is like a real place. Like, where people live. <laughs> Because, you know, you talk about Las Vegas so much as the casino that it, uh, it just seems like the Disney World of casinos. Um, also, now that we can pick up bombs, we can uh, do that. But uh, I'm not going to do that because I don't feel like it. 
Uh, so back in the real world. We go over here and we hang out with this guy over here and it's like, hey man, how's it going? Hey man, how's it going? <laughs> nice camera angle. I'm standing here to shade the dawn flowers from the sun. <laughs> and we're looking about where your sun don't shine. Did you see the cavern on the... Okay. <laughs> that's, that's where the sun don't shine. I haven't heard anybody say that since I was like a kid. I th threw it with the wrong angle somehow. Okay, that that's why. How did I throw it with the wrong angle the second time in a row? Also, why is my hair in my eye? That's not good. Can I, I want to throw it more over that way. Okay, that was too far. Oh, that was fine, okay. Yay, we did it. And now, uh, let's just fall. Fall and fucking die. <laughs> And here we go. Oh my god, this tunnel is long. Alright. Welcome to uh, your worst night. No, it's not really that bad. Welcome to uh, the lava dungeon place. This is uh, spooky music. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be fun. Alright, see you guys later. Catch you later. Have a good evening. <laughs>